Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a production of Gorecom, in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives after they put out big news. With us today, we got not one, but two great executives with us. Rob Anson, CEO and founder, Foby AI, trades in Canada under FOBI for Friends of the U.S., FOBIF. And with them, Daniel Petrov, CEO, Kiara Holdings, trades in the stock symbol KO. Uh, a lot of you know about your company if they're being interviewed right now but you may not know about the other. So let me give you a 20-second intro on each. Phoebe, a global leader in providing real-time data analytics through artificial intelligence to drive customer activation and engagement in the brick-and-mortar e-commerce space. And that's underselling it because they've built a technology stack on top of that that's second to none in the world. What you need to know to provide third-party validation is that they've completed integration with both the, with the likes of Lightspeed to provide real-time point-of-sale data uh, aggregation analytics to either the customers of Lightspeed or the retailers on Shopify. And they also recently signed a $250,000 data consultant agreement with Azen Court Energy, similar to this one. Chiaro is one of Canada's largest retailers of cannabis with 16 locations and forecasted annual revenue of $42.7 million from these locations, not including growth, at a gross profit of $13.7 million. There's more to come, more growth there. Together, they've signed a data consulting agreement uh, to help Chiaro uh, process all of his mass data from all those retail operations. Let's talk about it. Gents, welcome to the show. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Hey, Dan, let's start with you because, you know, Agoracom hears a lot from Rob. So let's hear from somebody else, okay? Yeah, um, for the sure. The says... Chiara to leverage the power of Phoebe real-time AI to transform your approach to cannabis retail. Put that to layman's terms. What did it mean when you saw it, when you first saw Phoebe and what's it going to mean for your, for your blowing up business? You know what, uh, George, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to capture kind of what I've seen and what the capabilities are in one go. Cause at the beginning we were looking you know, we're a tech forward, data forward, canvas retailer. And at the beginning, we're, we're looking to solve our, our, our challenges uh, and, and what we had the opportunity to do in cannabis. Uh, but but I'll, I'll do it in two parts. I'll talk about that, but then I'll talk about how I was just, when I saw what Phoebe has as a platform to develop, I was just blown away. So wow, I, I, I have a tech background, computer science background. I own a good chunk of an AI company that I sold back in 2016. And I, I was still super blown away to see their platform. So I'll tell you what, what we need and then what we can do. In Canvas retail, our, our retail information is segmented. We have, we, you know, even the POS systems we use, the backend systems we use, they're still being developed and they're not talking to each other, they're different. So for instance, we're in Ontario with this new package we bought and they need two different POS systems to do the same thing. Because one doesn't do delivery and one does. And, so you can just see already how it's so disconnected. We're the first company in Ontario even to use a big end ERP in the back end out of all the companies that are already there. So the fundamentals with this acquisition and everything we need to integrate and some analytics and some insights into what we already need, organize our data, see where it is and give us insights so we can better integrate and better have uh, those tools. It doesn't just do that. It goes beyond that, which I'm excited to get into once we have the data. I mean, I'll let Rob speak to it, but I mean, uh, the fact that what these, what's being correlated on the FOBI system is, 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 is I've never seen before. You got weather data, seasonal data. So all these other metrics of, of hey, what is driving traffic in your stores and what is, what's wow, really happening there? It, it, it's amazing. So I don't know if I explained it you know, well there, but it's, it's two parts is what do we need currently as a cannabis retailer, growing cannabis retail? Uh, eat retailer and and man, the phen phenomenal opportunity of exploration of tying these other data points and using AI to do it. Uh, if if you're just going to blow your competition away unless they and catch up and do the same thing. And, and you've said before that it's pretty challenging for retailers just to know what's going on in, at, in their stores in real time, let alone all the way down to the customer, right? How's this how's this uh, relationship with Foley going to change all that for you? Well, it's going to tie it all together. I mean, what we're going to work on is that architecture of that whole ecosystem, you know, from when we're getting products in the door, what products we're getting, how is all that organized, all the way to the customer and who's purchasing. So I think it's going to give us full transparency from every point of our system of where we touch in our supply chain. 
Uh, and I think Rob can speak more to that, but that's really what the expectation is to build that superior infrastructure, that architecture uh, to, to really run our business and, and, and have data driven decisions. Rob, um, what does it mean to you to hear? And I don't think it's the first time, but what does it mean first, just what Daniel said is to, to hear from someone like him, who's got a computer science background has a has sold an AI company for him to be blown away. Is that the first time you've heard something like that? Or is that something you're hearing more and more in a lot of your uh, big discussions with customers and potential customers? No, we hear it all the time. I mean, it's, that's, you know, what we built, the power of what we built, the dynamic components of it. And at the end of it, uh, we're, I'm very excited because quite honestly, when I looked at Chiaro, um, the digital innovation that they've come to market with is, is second to none. Um, you know, they're one of the largest retailers within the country. Um, they're absolutely crushing it. If you look at their revenues, um, this is a huge opportunity for us, something that we're very excited about. It's our entry into the cannabis market, which is absolutely right for us because it's another fragmented, regulated industry, um, perfect for the Phobie technology and solving problems around interoperability, data aggregation, real-time action. Um, so no, we're, we're, we're quite excited about this. I think Chiaro is uh, you know, growing very quickly as we saw with their hemisphere acquisition. Um, the, the story behind the company is relatively new and, um, you know, I see it as a huge opportunity. So I'm glad you brought up what you said about entry into the cannabis entry in, in the cannabis vertical. This isn't just a one-off for you. Uh, Chiaro is going to be, and it's, and, and I think it's right to say, Rob, that because Chiaro is such a tech forward company already, they're probably one of the best, uh, you could have started with to prove to the rest of the industry about your capabilities. So what's your plan for the cannabis industry? Because cannabis retailing is massive. Yeah, it is. Uh, we've been approached for quite some time now, George, by the largest brands, largest LPs, largest tech companies. It's something that uh, we wanted to wait for the right time. And you know, obviously when I looked at uh, you know Daniel and what he was doing with Chiaro, we, we wanted to launch here first with one of the best performing companies in the cannabis market for sure, uh, bar none. When we looked at the execution of their senior management team, uh, it's quite something. I mean, if you know people spend some time, do some due diligence around who's involved with the company, uh, it's extremely, extremely impressive. And we're, we're, we're gonna be moving very quickly, George, as you'll see in the cannabis space. Uh, it's completely right for disruption for Phoebe. Uh Dan, want to go back, want to come back to you. Clearly, you're growing yeah. MA is a big part because you just announced uh that 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 acquisition that was that was fantastic and congratulations. How much comfort does this deal, does this agreement with Foby, this relationship with Foby bring you? Uh knowing now you can go forward with more MA and not have to worry about all the, that all those interoperability issues that come with. You know, because acquisitions are great until oh, someone has to make them work. How much comfort does this give you now to just go on a, a, a growth, a, a real growth cycle here? So this this is a great question, George. This is our first major acquisition of this many stores, and 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 uh, we run formal project management here as as any good tech retailer should. Uh, and looking at our plan, 